消毒用のナプキンなんですがこちらの器具をつけると中から青い薬剤のついたナプキンが出てきますこれでまな板を拭くとどこが消毒されているのかしっかり確認できるということです時間が経つと青色が自然と消えていきますアメリカでは新型コロナの影響で消毒の重要性が高まっていて一般の病院などで需要が見込まれていますキャサリン・ジンさん8年前19歳の時に消毒剤に色をつけるというアイデアを生み出しました西アフリカでエボラ出血熱と戦う医療従事者を守るために研究を始めたのがきっかけです During the Ebola epidemic back in 2014, healthcare workers were dying at really high rates, and that was because Ebola is so infectious. 当時、エボラ出血熱の治療の現場では、医師らの感染率が高いことが課題になっていました。防護服を着ていましたが、消毒が十分ではなかったのです。当時の医療機。ただ、エボラウイルスを死滅させるには、10分間は待たなければいけないことも分かりました。しっかりと消毒が完了していない状態で、防護服を脱ぐことでウイルスに触れてしまっていたのです。そこで、今度は消毒剤の効果が出るまで、青色が残るよう、色が消える時間をコントロールすることに成功しました。これで、防護服を安全に脱ぐことができるタイミングが分かるようになったのです。We developed that back in 2015,、um, and that was the product that we brought to Liberia in Guinea during the Ebola epidemic.、Um, but now, you know, infectious pathogens don't just infect low、um, resource and, you know, kind of epidemic areas. We're seeing、um, infectious diseases impact the whole world with COVID.、Um, and so we've expanded our product、um, pipeline to not just be for liquid bleach solutions. But we also have a product for、um, disinfectant wipes as well, which are a lot more commonly used in hospitals、um, in the US. 科学者としてのアイデアを次々に形にしてきたジンさん。小さい頃から算数や科学が大好きでしたが、周りには男の子しかいませんでした。高校では女性であることを理由に、別の科目を受講するよう勧められたといいます。So growing up, I really liked、um, science and math. When I was a little kid, I used to pretend to be like a mathematician when I was doing math problems.、Um, and it wasn't until、uh, I think it was sixth grade when I joined our math counts team. And I was the only girl on the team. And I remember all the boys wouldn't stop teasing me, saying, The only reason you're on this team is because we just need one girl to compete. High school, I tried to take a computer science class. And my guidance counselor told me, No, boys are better that class. Why don't you take the journalism class instead? And again, I didn't say anything. I listened to my guidance counselor and I took the journalism class. 科学は女性には向いていないと言われ、好きな勉強に取り組むことができませんでしたが、進学したコロンビア大学で転機が訪れたと言います。I never thought I was going to be a science major,、um, but I ended up doing a double major in biology and in computer science. And one of the reasons why was because there was a really great community of female scientists at my school. そして2人の男子学生と共同で会社を立ち上げます。当初は軽視されていると感じ、ぶつかることもありましたが、今では良き仲間です。相手をやり込めるのではなく、耳を傾け合うことで、男性も女性も成長できると感じています。You know, when I first started my company with my two male co-founders, I used to get so mad at them because I would say something, they would both ignore me, and then one of them would say it, and then they would listen, and it would make me so furious. But I think what I learned from working with them and what they learned from working with me is,、um, it's really important to just try and stop and listen. And I think that they've learned so much and they've grown so much and they've become the best co founders that anyone can ask for. 
is realizing that gender inequality doesn't just hurt women, it hurts men too. It's not like a versus situation where lots of people will say like, oh, feminists think, you know, that just means women want to be better than men. No, all that means is that we just want equality for everyone. And there are a lot of ways. 女性科学者として感染症と戦うためさらに開発を進めるジンさん次の世代の女性が性別に関係なく好きなことにチャレンジできる世の中になってほしいと考えています。So, really um, kind of like、company, CEO, um, so I definitely feel like it's really important、um, as a woman in science to try and be as visible as possible and try and share you know, your story.